I'm an atheist uh, with an intense interest in religion. I actually read the entire Bible this year just because I do stuff like that. And I never actually had read it begin from beginning to end. Um, then I read the Quran because, you know, and I'm going to try to do the Book of Mormon, but, you know. Well, I sorry to, I mean, you're so fascinating. Um, do you recommend doing that? I think you should. Um, just to know, because it's such a touchstone um, in, in the way people talk about uh, things, it can get pretty tedious, but I even made myself read through all of the very specific instructions on how tall the different parts of the temple need to be, and how long the garbs need to be, and what shape they need to be, and what, and like, and those go on a lot. Um, there, that, that it surprisingly, surprisingly big chunk of Exodus. Um, it, it, I thought that was more like in Leviticus and Deuteronomy. Um, but then you get to books like Job, you know, wow. I mean, Job is such a read and no way Job originally had that ending. Like jo Job is basically, he, it starts out as this perverse bet between God um, and Satan about whether or not they can actually make a good man renounce God. And initially they can't, it's all going very predictably. And then they finally really torture Job, and he turns into the best, why is God cruel? How could God possibly exist? How could a kind God do these things? And he beats, he turns into like the best lawyer in the entire world, and he defeats everyone, all the people who come to argue with him. He, he, he argues the pants off of them. And then suddenly at the end, God shows up, and he's like, um, well, you know, uh, I am everywhere, and... Uh, <laughs> It's a very confusing answer. He gives an answer kind of like, I am there when 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 lionesses give birth, and I am there. And by the way, there's this giant monster Leviathan that's very big and it's very scary, and I and I have to manage the universe. And I'm kind of like, God, are you saying that you're very busy? Is that it, 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 it is, is that essentially your argument to Job? And you don't mention the whole you don't mention the whole kind of like uh, that I, I I have a bet that's why I was torturing you. That doesn't come up. Yeah. And then at the end, he decide, God decides, like, Job's like, oh, no, you're totally right. I was totally wrong. Uh, sorry. Um, and, I, and God says, like, I'm going to punish those people who tried to argue with you and didn't, didn't win. So he, um, so he gets rid of the, 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 I don't know exactly what he does to them. I don't remember. Um, and then he gives Job all his money back and, all, and it makes him super prosperous. And I'm like, no way that was the original ending of that book. Like, because this was, like, this was clearly a beloved novel that they were like, but it can't have that ending. Okay, so. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so it's a long way of saying, I actually think it's worthwhile. Uh, some of it was, uh, you're always kind of surprised when you end up in the part, like, um, there are parts of it that will sneak up on you, kind of like Isaiah's a trip, um, Ecclesiastes, Depeche Mode. <laughs>